let's get to our first news story today, which is really just the Drudge Report. I have been doing Adam versus the man now under the cloud of coronaphobia since the beginning. And I must say, this is the most boring apocalypse ever. I'm using the Drudge Report here as one way to make my point. It's a great news aggregator of the mainstream media. Certainly not the be all end all to give you an accurate view of the world by itself. But if you look at these headlines now, you can go one by one and see how boring and predictable this is. You go up to the very top and you'll see virus rules tighten worldwide. And you've got, hey, scary picture of vague Middle Eastern somebody with a full face mask on and you know some something like oh yes uh, 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 virus cabot omnibus i i don't know where this is from miami covid so they've got you know this is a headline i I could have predicted this virus rules tighten worldwide yeah we've been talking about there's like there's this strange obvious continuity of current events right now where there there are all these little sub story arcs that i don't know maybe last weeks months that are just painfully predictable maybe it's the way that i've had my head in the news but as the host of this show of adam versus the man doing our best to give you an accurate world view i couldn't do today's show without stopping and looking at this bigger picture first and 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 what it's doing to my brain even to just have my head in the news like this florida governor desantis heckled yeah predictable and this is happening governors local leaders of government being asked are uh, being being uh, facing unrest and and a disgruntled public state Posts record 132 daily deaths. Yes, the statistics being used to manipulate every day. New York pushes to track visitors. Yes, the threat of more limitations on freedom of movement. New York uh, fines and summons for noncompliance. Refrigerator trucks requested in Arizona and Texas morgues reach capacity. Now, we saw this in New York. Oh, the morgues are overflowing. We need refrigerated trucks. This, All of these like normal things are being used to scare people right now. Even the virus itself is a relatively normal thing. There are worse outbreaks. There are worse viruses on a regular basis in the global human Petri dish. The no- novel coronavirus, COVID-19, really isn't that special. There is nothing I have seen in any of the, and I, again, a lot of fear mongering, but there's nothing that I've seen in going through all of this, trying to reaffirm my own analysis that would say this is anything really more than a funky off-season flu-like virus. Now, what two of the stories we're going to get to, Israeli data show school openings that were disasters that wiped out gains. You know, be afraid. We have a counter story to that. From the Telegraph, German study finds no evidence in coronavirus that coronavirus spreads in schools. The confusion, deliberate, right? Atlanta, Los Angeles, San Diego to keep classrooms shut. Hawaii delays reopen to tourists. Anti-maskers put shops and businesses on edge. And no, you know what we're seeing and, and the trend in the United States, and I love these signs, they say, You are required to wear a mask in our store under whatever blah, 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 executive order, emergency, shutdown, restrictions, et cetera. But if you have a medical condition that prevents you from wearing a mask, then you are allowed to come in our store without a mask. And due to HIPAA, and that's Health Insurance Privacy Accountability Act, that you know, it really only applies to healthcare providers. 
but it does lay out standards of medical privacy. It says, you know, the, 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 the signs will cite different things. Out of respect for medical privacy, we are not allowed, and actually there is a legal standard in a situation like this, same thing with the service act. Like, you're not allowed to ask somebody, are you, what's your medical condition that justifies you not wearing a mask? And you say, well, that's a violation of my privacy for you to even ask that. And that would be a violation of the law if you did so with anything, uh, you know, backing up your request. So, no, I, I don't have to answer that. And the signs will say, if you come into our store without a mask, we're going to just assume that you uh, that you have some medical condition. Welcome your business. It's, it's just so even the mask thing, you know, more or less unenforceable. Yesterday, when we went to court, we had to wear masks at the Avabai County Courthouse building. First time for me. I got the the infrared forehead thermal scan and was asked screening questions. Have you been around anybody with COVID? Have you been exposed to it? And it's like, well, you're not gonna, gonna let me attend court if I if so uh you know, this is testing czar rebuts Trump. Well patients at higher risk of psychiatric disorders. Every day there's some, you know, little scare about this, or there's some little statistic that's being blown up. You know, well, there's some we found we found a statistical association. Well, correlation that is two things trending together does not imply causation that one caused the other. They could both be caused by something else, obviously, but that doesn't stop these fear mongering headlines at higher risk. Like, you know, of course, yeah, and then sort of like no shit, Sherlock. If you hospitalize a thousand people and you don't hospitalize another thousand people as your control group, well, gee, yeah, you're going to trigger those people that you do force into the hospital. Like, they, duh, there's there's going to be a whole set of consequences just that go along with that. Hong Kong adopts its strictest ever virus measures. Mystery, so, sailors infected after 35 days at sea. And by the way, even Drudge, like, I don't know what it is about Drudge. Does Matt Drudge have a gun to his head over all of this? Because this used to be a little bit more of a fair and balanced, to use the Fox News term, of a news aggravator, Drudge Report. And now it's like, it's all fear nonsense. It's all fear porn. It's all main, like he's just doing a mouthpiece for the mainstream media as a mouthpiece for the establishment, for government. And it's really disappointing. The main headlines here, Fortress New York. You know, again, we've been here, New York, hotspot from the beginning, 22 states on quarantine watch. Again, more threats and more uncertainty. Are you going to be allowed to travel? Are you going to be able to, to, to plan a vacation or a visit? And, and there it is, sweeping restrictions on travel. <clears throat> what are those restrictions? Well, right now it's this. Tomorrow it might be that. If things go well, it could be done next week. Or it could get worse. You know what that sounds like to me? Martial law. That's what we have. Viral martial law. Because they're able to just kind of do whatever they want. You know, I, I mean, I can go to the rest of the news, too. Right? We have the, the headline, all in the family, Trump's brother fails to block Mary's tell-all. Yeah, okay, so the Trump family is fighting, and there's another book slamming Trump coming out. Makes you wonder, maybe Trump's whole racket here is to generate book sales. You know, Roger Stone's going to write a book. Michael Bolton, bestseller. Who was the other, the White House aide who was fired and wrote a book, and now it's the family tell-all. But then you go, like, okay, so the, just right below that. Ted Cruz, Senator Ted Cruz require, refuses to wear a mask on the plane. He's got a coffee in his hand. And he took it off to drink. But this is this is what people are arguing about. Now they've got you arguing, arguing about silly crap while I mean you go to the other side of Drudge Report, record federal spending deficit intensified. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Surprise, surprise. That story does not change. And there's there's more about these coronavirus headlines, even. Police levy thousands of fines as Indians chafe at masks. 
This is international, of course. Expert warns of consequences when NASCAR fans come to Fort Worth. Sex, wor sex workers bet on see-through biosecurity raincoats. Of course, you can count on Drudge to squeeze, lube up and squeeze in a little funky sex story, usually involving technology. Macron in France wants face masks mandatory indoors. Really? Really? And I, I mean, I'm looking at this. It's like a big snapshot of the news. And you see, too, there's this there's a rush to sterile technology, to doing things virtually and remotely when possible. And that's great. You know, progress there. I'm I'm. At a loss for words, I just, I, you know, here we're look. Look, look, look what I've, look what I found, people. I've been looking at the news and it is, I don't want to say it's frightening because I'm not trying to be alarmist and I'm not scared. I don't want to say it's encouraging because at this moment in time, looking at current events through the news is not really encouraging. I remain hopeful for the future of humanity, but not by looking at the news today. Not with this little snapshot summary of the headline. I am awed. I am awed. Not O-D-D, A-W-E-D. -A I'm awed in, in both ways, but right now, looking at the news, I'm awed. I'm looking at this and it is, I, overwhelming awe and wonder and so much more I want to learn and study and understand and be able to take into my own life to be able to maximize my experience and my potential to serve love and humanity and help us in this beautiful dance forward and that's what it is right I, I have not lost my faith in humanity in progress that we are approaching a voluntary society one step at a time. One step backwards, two steps forwards, maybe. It's a little more complicated than that. This great, beautiful dance forward of humanity. And perhaps now, as we take this funny stumble, we're still going down like uh, like like a toddler running at full speed. You know, you see trip over a Lego left on the carpet. And there's this moment of wincing pain and anticipation of falling. And there's stuff in the headlines that's not in this group of headlines today. The unemployment crisis the small business failure crisis, the real estate crisis, the coming homeless crisis. We haven't stopped falling. It's going to hurt. It's going to get worse. But right now, I see, I see humanity as this little, this little toddler running and falling just and in midair, legs and arms flailing about and i hope it's a smooth landing i hope it's not a smack of the forehead on the linoleum of the kitchen floor just past the edge of the car but i hope i hope there are no other legos in the path of us falling that are going to take an eye out i hope that we're able to somehow tumble through this and come out on our feet perhaps or at least stumble on land on our butts relatively unharmed and get back up dust ourselves off and go back to dancing forward and hopefully it plays out with as little tragedy as that so that we can look back on this period of human history that we are experiencing
experiencing right now and laugh as hard as we know we should.